All right then, back to it straight away, Sunday. Um, you guys know we had an absolutely frantic week last week. Really, really busy with everything go that we had going on. Uh, and the shop has suffered somewhat. Um, it's an absolute tip, I've never seen it this bad in my life. So I've come back in, a bit of a tidy up. Um, Kay's had the BM as well, whilst I had Golfy last week. So we've just come in to swap a few bits and pieces over. Don't know why Enzo's in there, he's patiently waiting. <laughs> you know but yeah i've never seen it this bad in my life um so come in have a bit of a reset it happens when we're busy especially it just cannot seem to keep things under control in terms of the tidiness level i'm not even going to show you guys into the booth because that's even worse the paint mixing room is falling apart so yeah uh, on that as well so huge thanks to everyone as always we've had some really nice comments um about kayla's car uh, and all the other bits and pieces that we do on an everyday basis to be fair but um, it's always lovely to hear from you guys on YouTube um, Instagram, Facebook, all of that across the platforms, WhatsApp, everything I always get a ton of comments off the back of some of these videos which is really really nice um, I'll be honest, Kay's face was enough uh, but <laughs> the comments and things from you guys as well just made it so much more worthwhile um, we love to hear from all of you um, can't thank you enough for supporting the channel supporting our work and what we do here and everything um, it's always lovely to see you guys in person as well when we do get the rare opportunities to meet some of you. But um, yeah, anyway, enough of that. Just a quick little appreciation note for myself. But let's crack on, get some work done. Well, spend a good few hours tidying up anyway. Um, preparation for the week to come. Four hours later. Doesn't really look like I've done anything now, but I definitely have. Uh, so I'm going to keep these parts bits and pieces until Kayla comes back just to make sure that... She doesn't want any of those bits, definitely. Um, BW parts back in here, because that's going to be back in here in a second. Start moving things around, ready for the week. We've had a real deep clean in here. Again, not that it really looks like it, but all of the shelves have been completely reorganized, hoovered, everything. Like I said, it really doesn't look like it now, but I know what I've done, so all good. And the three bin bags full of stuff down here also says that I have done something, at least. But, um, yeah, cleans, reorganised, ready to start the week now. Definitely necessary it was. Um, and to be fair, I found a whole load of things that I didn't even know I had. So that's quite nice too. Uh, yeah, move the first couple of jobs for the week into the bays. Be a bit of a reshuffling around. Um, I've got one in the spray, spray booth as well. I think I've got three or four in the fourth unit. So yeah, busy old time of things as always. But at least we're refreshed now, ready to go. So first up, get this one finished off. Um, this one's in for very, very small scuff repair on the bumper. Uh, replacement wing, because the, the wing was damaged. Luckily, didn't catch the door edge at all, so it's quite a nice little job for us, and there's just a small dent on that rear quarter as well. Um, someone else drove into it, unfortunately. So, yeah, relatively easy repair for us. Uh, again, with new parts, makes it a lot easier. Um, and then, quite a nice one next door as well, actually. This one, lovely Velar uh, dog. <laughs> dog problems as if I don't have enough of those myself um, but in a really nice area actually because it's not caught the other sections at all so we can just polish those up to match um, it's literally just chewed the front two corners of that removable piece so we haven't had to drop the bumper on this one which is nice nice little surprise um, that piece there comes off quite easily so just a quick fuser repair on this I think because it has got a hole so yeah we'll reinforce it with the mesh on the back side um, quick fuser repair um, we'll build it back up entirely with Fuser actually, so it basically um, it's, our, it's our cold weld system essentially, so it will make it as strong as we possibly can. It'll, it'll be just like new plastic again, essentially, uh, so that's going to be the best way of doing things. Yeah, that's what we're starting the week off with.
VW parts loaded up into the booth then, so you can see um, what we've had to do with the bonnet to get rid of the stone chips. Really thin on this one actually, so I don't think this is a standard. I think it's been bare metal before, or it might even be a replacement bonnet altogether, because um, this is not normal. Uh, but it should help us out, to be honest, for the wet on wet stages. So we haven't got to go into the, um, the higher build on this one. It should just be a wet on wet epoxy on the bare metal, wet on wet black over the whole thing, and then into color and clear. Uh, and the bumper on these two ones, as you can see, strips into several different component pieces, which is a bit of a pain, but each one has some sort of damage on it as well. So we are repairing most of that. I'm just going to essentially flow coat this these pieces here are just going to be flow coated, so they're not going to have any colour on apart from the bottom piece here. They haven't got any damage as such. A few stone chips and bits and pieces, but that'll all disappear at the next stage. Um, obviously, this area here was slightly damaged, and then the front bumper, or the upper section of the front bumper, was quite bad, so we'll redo that in full. But, um, yeah, wet on wet next, and then go from there. So that's this one mostly done. Um, Kayla and I hit this side really heavily with the heavy cut and then went in with a refining polish basically just to refine it all out. Um, it's come out so much, so, so much better than it was. There's still a, a few tiny imperfections in there, but to be honest, once this is outside, you're never going to see those in a million years. So I think that's come out really nice. Um, front bumper is back on the car, all but put, put back together. Uh, replaced the various different trim pieces that I talked about before. Um, and we are just now polishing out various nibs uh, that we got in our paintwork to make it as good as possible. Um, and Tig's done a fantastic job as always of polishing the rest of the car as well. So um, yeah, this one's almost done. Just the, again, the final finishing touches on this one to finish off. Got to do a tiny rework on the bonnet that I wasn't too happy with a little bit on there. Um, get that done and then yeah, just final polish, dust off. Uh, final clean down and then this one will be ready to go so not too far off for this one now it's been a bit of a problematic one should we say to say the least but yeah I think all things considered um, for the state that it was when it came in it's going to be leaving here really nicely so yeah happy in general Okay, so we're just picking up on the Hypersport videos then um, from last week. Uh, I think I've got quite a lot of hyperlapse from the last couple of weeks on this one, so I'll compile it all together. Uh, but I haven't actually stopped, I don't believe, to show you guys what I'm actually up to or explain the process. So the car currently is in our Noble spray filler. Um, so it's basically just a sandable, sprayable filler, um, which allows us to get a really nice even coat over the whole entire vehicle, block it down. Um, we're currently blocking with a 180 on a block. 
um, well, several different blocks actually, but a 180 is just to get it really nice and flat and uh, basically identify any areas which need a little bit more work, of which there are quite a few coming up on this one, as was expected. So the guide coat, the black areas at the moment, is obviously the low spots. Um, and basically, if we can just keep sanding on this until we hit metal, or if we hit another filler, which might sand slightly differently to the sprayable filler, um, we might stop. But depending on what we find, um, if you imagine the guide coat sits on the top, you, you, you sand the, the uh, high spots off first, and the lower that all goes, uh, directly the, the guide coat has disappeared. You're actually um, at the bottom, basically, or everything is level, if that makes sense. I'm terrible at explaining things. Um, I know what I mean in my head, but, yeah, I'm awful at explaining things. Poor Tig. I took her on, her on as an apprentice, me trying to explain my ways of doing things. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, that's where we're at at the moment. So you can see obviously the low spots here, quite a few ripples in the door coming through, but we should be able to get rid of most of this, I would have thought. This needs some more work up here. There's lots of little areas around the car, as expected, which will need a lot of work. The front and rear bumpers are poor on this. Uh, like I know that without even doing any sanding work at all, they're rippled as anything, so they will need a lot more filler work um, than anticipated. But the main body of the vehicle, I think, is coming along quite nicely. So. Yeah, the tape's just on there to maintain the body line. Um, it gives us a visual idea of where it is, and it also protects it from our sanding side of things as well. If we were just to go up there with the sanding block, um, especially on a 180, we'd, we'd end up making that body line really wavy. So that's why that tape is there as well. Not on the top edge there, which is wavy, but it's the bottom edge that we're protecting at the moment, before anyone uh, questions that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, keep sanding and see how we go with this one really, um, see what areas need a little bit more work and then move on to the next stage. Okay, that's the Jag mostly blocked down then for the first um, round of spray poly in any case. I'm not sure if I'm going to need another round or not just yet. I don't think I will. Um, there's a lot of little areas, so pinholes everywhere. It's, it is hard to pick up on the camera again, really, exactly what I'm talking about, but obviously we've broken through here. Any areas where we've broken through, it's not ideal. Um, it just means we've really had to sand heavily on those bits just to try and get it as straight as possible. Um, you've got a little dent down here, areas here which need touching in, pinholes everywhere. Again, they are difficult to get on the camera, but the closer you get, the more small areas there are. Um, so from here, it looks great. But when you, when you really zoom in, they are absolutely everywhere. Obviously, it's a fiberglass molded kit, this one, um, molded into the wings and everything. So, yeah, there's always going to be issues with the front and rear bumpers for sure, but it's pretty bad. Um, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll decide what we're going to do for the next stages and everything. I say it's pretty bad. It's, 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 to be fair, it's kind of to be expected. Um, but I think I've just probably in this week's footage put, I don't know, don't know how many hours worth of time lapse into uh, probably end up being about two minutes on the video but it's hours and hours and hours worth of sanding has gone into this one so far as you can appreciate um, and like I said I've not even started on the rear bumper yet which is actually going to be the worst of the lot because uh, I can already feel it's very very wavy and rippled over this section here but the rest of it come along really nice actually uh, for the most part the main body as it were is coming along nicely it's just the front and rear bumpers which are going to be the biggest areas and then obviously side skirts are the same as well, fiberglass molded, so they will have issues. Um, I want to do something a bit better with that to make the, um, just the straightness of the whole car a bit better. And up there needs a bit more of a fill. But yeah, we're getting there. Uh, 
finishing touches now, I suppose.